What's going on guys? Shane here. Today I'm going to give you three options on what to do after missing a roundhouse kick. So let's say you're fully committed. You throw that kick and now you're in a bad spot because your back is facing your opponent. So the first option is just going into a defensive shell. We talked about this in a previous video. You throw that roundhouse kick, hands come up, you should be balanced enough to be able to lift this leg back up because a common counter to that in kickboxing and MMA is just another kick. So you bring that leg up to shield and if it's a left kick, and you should be able to turn it out. So in full, it looks like this. And bring it right back, okay? Another one that you can do is what I like to call a recovery kick. It's just a side kick to the body. So again, let's say I throw a head kick and they pull back. Okay. A lot of people knock traditional arts like karate and taekwondo, but we don't see enough side kicks, and they're awesome. So all you're gonna do, like I said, you throw the kick, you miss, this foot touches the ground. Right away, bounces right back up to a chamber. I extend and down. Okay, so definitely practice that one. And the last one is just continuing the momentum, following through for a spinning attack. Could be anything. It could be a spinning elbow, it could be a spinning back fist, it could be a back kick, or a wheel kick. And you can practice these shadow boxing. Like I said, just imagine you're really fully committed, you expect to land it, and then follow up with a wheel kick, back kick, spinning back elbow. But practice in shadow boxing, and it'll work in the fight. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment below and uh, subscribe to get the fight tips before your opponent does. Until then, I'm Shane with Fight Tips for the Underdogs.